Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm doing an all day clean with me and I did a ton of cleaning on this day. So usually on my channel I'm sharing days of cleaning so you'll see me do a little bit here and there each day. But today was jam packed. I had a lot to get done so I'm hoping that this video will bring you all the cleaning motivation that you need to get some things checked off of your to-do list today. So to start out the day, I'm actually going to be cleaning in Gracie June's room. I'm just going to be picking up in here. I'm not going to do any actual like dusting or any of that stuff, but her room was a complete disaster. We had taken all of the toys out of the playroom when back a while back when I was doing like the carpet cleaning and stuff in there. And so her and her friends have been playing in her room and every time that they've played, they just kind of threw all the toys back in the closet. So I'm gonna pick up in here, but also in today's video, I have tons of laundry to do. I have to clean our kitchen. It's also a wreck right now. And then I'm gonna be cleaning some windows, blinds, light fixtures. Um, I'm also gonna be vacuuming and mopping downstairs. So tons and tons of motivation in this video. Now here I'm taking all of Gracie June's American, well, it's not American Girl, it's Next Generation, it's the Target brand, all of that stuff back into the playroom, and I know that she's going to keep that stuff, but then in a few minutes you're going to see me go into her closet, and we're going to actually, I'm going to throw all that stuff back into the baskets, and I'm going to let her go through that stuff a little bit later. Um, I didn't actually film it, but I'm going to let her go through that stuff and decide what she wants to keep and give away. All right, so now that the closet is cleaned out, I'm actually going to go through the rest of the closet and I have a few things that I'm wanting to list to sell on Mercari. So we have a whole bunch of Disney ears we haven't used in a very long time. I'm only gonna keep the, I think I'm just gonna keep the Halloween ones, but the rest of them I'm going to sell. I've also got these slippers that Gracie June has barely worn. They're in really good condition. So I'm gonna get these out and put those, list those on Mercari as well. And then I also have Eleanor Rose dresses. I do this every summer before school starts back. So I'm a little bit early this summer, which is great, but I go ahead and sell any of her like nicer dresses that are in really good condition. So if you've never heard of Mercari before, I've actually shared them in the past, but it's just an app that makes it super easy to sell items that you're wanting to get rid of around your house. So whether it's items you no longer use or you've never used or maybe it's clothing that's too small, you can just list it here and resell them to make a little bit of cash. Now with Mercari, it's super easy to list and sell your items. All you do is go into the Mercari app, start a new listing, snap a picture, and then enter all the details and price that you wanna list your item for. Then you just list it and you're done. Now you don't have to just sell clothing on here, obviously. Um, I just love to do that because I always have some really cute stuff that the kids have outgrown. Sometimes I'll sell mine on here as well. And, um, but you can also sell so many different things. You can sell accessories. So if you have some jewelry, home decor, gym equipment, whatever it is that you have laying around your house that you want to get rid of, you can list it on here. Now, I also ended up listing a bunch of books on here that my kids no longer read, and I still have lots of other items around my house that I want to put on here as well. 
So if you're interested in getting started selling on Mercari, I will have a link down in my description box so you can go check it out, start listing your items and make some extra cash. And thank you to Mercari for partnering with me on today's video. Now we're gonna just move into the kitchen. I have lots to clean in here. We have tons of dishes and just things on the counter to put away. So I'm gonna get this kitchen cleaned up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is unload the dishwasher and I like to run my dishwasher at night as long as the dishwasher is full. We will run a load at night and then that way I can unload it first thing in the morning and then we can put all of our dirty dishes in there throughout the day. Now really quickly as I'm unloading and then reloading my dishwasher, I wanted to take just a second to introduce myself in case you're new here and you've never seen any of my videos before. My name is Amy Darley and on my channel I do lots and lots of cleaning, organizing, decluttering, and also a little bit of home decor. I absolutely love sharing cleaning tips, hacks, cleaning products, or anything that's just made my life easier and I love the fact that you guys share with me all the time your favorite cleaning hacks and products and everything too. So I love this community. If you're new, I would love to have you as part of it. Just click the little subscribe button right below this video and then that way anytime I post new videos, you will get a notification. And also if you're new, please make sure to say hey in the comments, introduce yourself, let us know where you're from and a little bit about you so that way we can get to know you guys better. like a roller coaster but i'm trying to hold on i don't want it to stop even though we fight sometimes and it feels like a all right, so now that the dishwasher is unloaded and reloaded with the dirty dishes that can go in there I'm gonna go ahead and wash these dishes that need to be washed by hand and I'm just using the Dawn Power Wash. So many of you have told me you use this stuff all over your house. I had people tagging me on Instagram the other day saying that you use this in your microwave, in your oven, all over the place. So this stuff does work really, really great. I have also, I didn't even show it in this video, but I have been using this in my shower as well. I got a, another bottle of it and I just keep it in my shower now and I will spray down the inside of my shower while I'm in there and do a quick like scrub of the shower. I have a scrub brush in there. I'll have to show that in a video soon, but I've been doing that for the last couple weeks ever since I cleaned the shower the last time in a video and it has been working great. So I love this stuff in my shower also. How do you move on? Just wanna love you a little bit more. Don't just walk away from me and close the door. Baby, pull me closer now before it's over. I just wanna love you a little bit more. Oh, love you a little bit more. Love you a little bit more. Love you a little bit more. Love you. 
inside my head Don't know how to cope with being so broken Girl, I can't forget about what you said I just wanna love you a little bit more Don't just walk away from me So while I'm cleaning, a lot of times I like to either talk on the phone with a friend, which is what I was doing right now, or I will listen to audiobooks. And I actually just finished listening to the book, The Last Thing He Told Me, and I highly recommend it. I love this book. I felt like it was keeping me on my toes the entire time trying to figure out what happened, what's going on, and I love the ending of the book. It was really good. Um, but if you guys have any suggestions, I'm about to start a new book. I actually just downloaded People We Meet on Vacation. I haven't listened to it yet, so I'm about to start it. But if you have any other recommendations, please leave them down in the comments. They were in high school when they met And things got kinda awkward With sparks in the air He would stare at her in class And she would try to act cool But it was obvious like ooh They would be together One day she said, write me a love song Cause I know you'll make it beautiful And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart And promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know He looked at her and then he smiled Picked up a pen and paper started writing probably something about her eyes and how they're always shining or something cliche like ooh baby i only want you all right so now i have a nice clean sink and i'm going to move up to move on not move up <laughs> move on to cleaning the rest of the kitchen and getting these countertops cleaned off And he said, I wrote you a love song And I tried to make it beautiful It's a song about your sweet, sweetheart And how nobody can steal me away Yeah, I am your horse Cause I want you and I wanted you to know As he sang, she started to dance Grabbed his arm and took his hand He held her close under the moonlight As they kept on dancing mm -mm -mm. And now they're singing their love song And they sing it kind of beautiful Calling each other sweetheart as nobody can get in their way or steal the show they're in love now and i wanted you to know hey won't you pull me another i'm going in so wish me good luck yeah i gotta put on my favorite song i need a boost let's turn up the love no it is way too late my eyes of you maybe we will regret this but tomorrow is another day and i will do anything i will do anything to get your love 
Now I got questions about this tiered tray a lot recently and it's actually from Walmart. I got several pieces from Walmart that were in this Better Homes and Gardens collection. I'll actually link all those pieces down in the description box, but I have a few things that are over in my dining room that I got from that collection. And then I also got this tiered tray and they are super affordable. So you'll definitely have to check them out. I think that they're only an in-store purchase, but if you have a Walmart near you or you have the Walmart app, you should be able to click my link in the description box and then it'll let you know if you have any available in your store that's near you. So I will link those below in case you're interested. Stop believing you're the one I'ma be with tonight. So I will do anything I Anything to make you mine. Hey, won't you pull me another? I'm going in. So wish me good luck. Yeah, I gotta put on my favorite song. I need a boost. Let's turn up the love. Because it's on. So really quickly, I'm wiping down the breakfast table here, and then I'm gonna take a break from the kitchen area, go clean some laundry and my bedroom, and then I'm gonna come back in here because our light fixture was so dusty, it needed to be cleaned, as well as the windows and the shutters in here. So like I said, I'm gonna take a break from this area and get back to it in just a little bit. So now we're here in the laundry room. I had a lot of stuff that needed to just go be put back where it belongs, as always. And then I also have a couple of loads of laundry that I needed to get started. All right, so now I'm moving on to my bedroom. As you can see, I don't know if you can see him, but Cooper is right there on the right side of my bed. He's just napping. He always naps. If you see him in my videos, he's usually sleeping. But Cooper is my chocolate lab, if you didn't already know that. I guess I just started talking to you about Cooper like you should know who he is, but he's our chocolate lab and he is not bothered at all by cleaning or the vacuum or anything, which he's actually 13 years old and he's going, well, he's almost completely blind and deaf he still has a really good sense of smell but he's the sweetest and i do try to work around him you can see i'm like trying to get him up and he's just like i am not having it but eventually he gets up and i can finish vacuuming in here So as I was vacuuming, I noticed a couple spots on the carpet that looked a little darker. So I wanted to try to get those out really quick. I have this stain and odor eliminator. I use it all the time on our carpets. It works great. So I'm just taking a little bit, spraying it on there, and then I have a little rag that I'm gonna wipe it up with. And you'll see it comes out pretty easy. It's not too, too dark though, but honestly this works great on any carpet or fabric, upholstery, any of that kind of thing.
for us now Why do we stay When I blame you for the things that weigh me down So now I'm moving into the living room. I just have a little bit of tidying up to do in here. The kids had already cleaned up all their toys the previous night. They had a ton of toys down here. Just, well, I say they, but mostly Gracie June, my seven-year-old, had a bunch of her little bitty toys all out on the floor. And so she actually cleaned all of that up and I didn't have to worry about that mess today. So I know that I just swept here in the kitchen, but I mainly was just trying to get anything out from underneath the appliances that I can't get with the vacuum. And so now I'm just gonna go around the downstairs and I'm using my cordless vacuum again. And the reason I'm using my cordless, um, a lot of you know, I usually, when I do like the floors when I'm about to mop and do all of that, I usually use my Shark Uplight, which is my corded vacuum. But I actually had to clean that vacuum last night, so my filter is still dry. So I'm just using my cordless vacuum and as you can see it does a really good job and actually lasts the entire time I had already vacuumed my bedroom and now I'm vacuuming the rest of the downstairs and I actually had it on the max mode which was the carpet mode and it lasted the entire time. So I do think that this battery lasts a lot longer than any of the other cordless vacuums that I've had in the past and in case you're wondering, I don't even think I told you what kind of vacuum it is. It is the Hoover Blade Plus, and I'll have this link down in the description box in case you're in the market for a cordless vacuum. You told me more than once to show you my intention. My brain gets blocked at times, but now somehow I'll give you my attention. You've got to know that I, I ain't a person who understands all clockwork of our romance you make me feel so alive always there in my mind but i just don't know i just don't know all right, now I have some dusting to do, and I am just using this e-cloth duster that I have. I actually have several of these. I need to order some more because these things work so good. I'm gonna start by dusting our light fixture here in the breakfast area, and then I'm also gonna dust our shutters and clean the windows in this area in the living room as well. Be moving on solo. Wait a second, cause they're playing the best song. I'll be there if you reach out to me.
So this is the same cordless vacuum I was using earlier. I just changed the attachment out so that I could use it as a handheld vacuum and vacuum up all of the dust and dog hair and little bugs that I found here on our windowsill. Now it has been a while since I've cleaned in this little area and so when I opened up the shutters it was super dusty but I also found this paper plane in there and I just started cracking up because I'm like how long has that been sitting in there because you can see that the paper plane was like super dusty as well so I obviously don't clean in these areas enough. Now hopefully that gives you a little bit of a laugh seeing the paper airplane. Y'all will have to let me know what is the weirdest thing that you have ever found in your house when you were cleaning. Also, hopefully that makes you realize that I am very human and I don't get all the cleaning done all the time. My house is not sparkling, immaculate all the time. And actually, you can probably ask my friends when they come over. They probably expect it to be a lot cleaner than it is when they come over because I do have a channel where I, I share the cleaning motivation. But... Honestly, my house is more messy than it is clean, and I could definitely clean some areas in my house a lot more than I currently do. Now that all of that is done, the last thing that I'm going to do is mop the floors. And this is probably one of my favorite things to have done is clean floors. I just love the smell. And usually when I have clean floors, that also means the rest of my house is clean because that's the last thing that I do. So I'm just using my O-Cedar Spin Mop here. And I put just a little bit of pine saw and hot water and I'm going to get to mopping the entire downstairs. I've got nothing else but you on my mind 
I miss you, miss you. Take you off. I came in way too strong. Cannot keep it low key. Got me drugged. Your pheromones hit the roof. Auto, your taste. It's really a bad reception out there. Where you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? I've lost you. Off my radar now. I've lost you. Telling you that I need you, but you're off my radar now. Found myself in between the lines, underneath your bed sheets. It started fun, but now I'm into deep into this flow. A zero sum game that I will lose. There's no sipping past it. Every time you walk away from me, I want you. How could I want you more? Or when did I lose my perspective? Oh God, have I lost it? But my cravings for you so shameless can't get enough. I've lost you, but I need you, and you're off my radar now. I've lost you. Off my radar now. I'm like an outcast from pillar to post. There's no denial, I'm chasing. Okay, I said the last thing I was going to do was mop the floors, but I completely forgot. I still had another load of laundry that needed to be folded, which is why I left the hang ups here on my bed, is because I wanted to fold this load of laundry and do all of the hangups up one time. I would much rather, y'all have to let me know if you're like this too, but I would much rather fold laundry and put them away in drawers than actually hang up laundry. And I know a lot of people are different. They'd rather do all hangups and not fold anything. So y'all let me know what you prefer to do. I can now guess from pillar to post Hitting you up but I'm stuck on hold It's really a bad reception out there Where you heading? Why in gravity? But now the laundry is the last thing that I'm doing for this video and so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give the video a thumbs up. It helps me out a ton. And if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe before you leave and introduce yourself down in the comments. So that way we can all get to know you guys better. This community here is just amazing. So I really hope that you'll join by subscribing. And also I have a lot of really good cleaning motivation videos, organization, room makeovers, all that kind of stuff coming up on my channel. And I don't want you guys to miss it. Now, if you need even more cleaning motivation, I'm going to leave some of my latest videos up on the screen at the end of this video. Make sure to go check those out and they will definitely give you the motivation you need to get through the rest of your cleaning checklist today. I hope you have an awesome week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!